Hey guys, let's talk about a interesting topic. On Reddit, there was a post by Saffron, Saffron Olive, who is one of the most famous e-celebrities in Magic. And his post was of a game store and a flag. So he doesn't go to the game store. He has no interaction with the game store. He just found it somewhere and took a screenshot like a, any good Magic citizen would. And then it got to the top of Reddit. Well, recently that store has lost its WPN. Now, of course, this has made Jeremy very angry because he is also banned for life. And now the store is banned. So why is it banned? Uh, it is banned for a simple reason. Uh, not because they treated its customers poorly, not because it was doing a poor job or selling promos on eBay, opening boxes too early. It was banned for a flag, um, a flag. And I would argue it's not actually the flag, but the person reporting on the flag, which is a very, very famous magic e-celebrity. Had it been someone else, um, Probably not as critical and not as soon. Uh, the banning, I don't believe, would ha ha have happened um, unless, I mean, it hit Reddit, the top of Reddit, very fast due to it being posted by Saffron. If it was posted by someone else, maybe it doesn't go that fast or maybe it's not going to draw that much attention. Attention is drawn. Store has to be punished. Punishment is there's no like middle ground, there's no conversation. And that's like the crazy part to me is when they banned MTG headquarters, they didn't really have a conversation with him. When they banned this guy who has a family, I think I was watching a video of his, um, you know, he's not, he's not racist, I think. I think his, he mentioned that his uh, child is uh, biracial, which would not... Which, I mean, that would make no sense if he was part of a uh, a white supremacist group or something like that, right? I mean, that makes no sense, right? So essentially, Saffron is pushing stuff, and as he always does, but he affected someone's life. Um, he affected a whole bunch of people's li lives by shutting down, or at least the WPN side, and we'll talk about what WPN means. It means if you can hold pre-releases, can you do PPTQs? Can you do, do you get the promos that some people put on eBay? Um, uh, the fate of Nexus, right? My store is a comic book store. And or the store I went to for many years is a comic book store. And they're doing fine. They don't do any magic. They don't carry singles. They just don't do magic. Well, part of that was due to the distributor. And uh, in other news, Wizard of the Coast is getting rid of a whole department that does the uh, direct shipment from Wizard of the Coast of booster packs or pre-release kits to stores. Now these stores will be at the mercy of distributors who always favor uh, people who buy more. So way to look out for uh, local business, right? So Wizard of the Coast has made some uh, critical, uh, critically bad decisions recently, and I think one of them is they listen to their e-celebrities too much. Um, if their e-celebrity complains about this, I would go as far as to say if Tolarian in private and in public did not make that video and did not go against MTG headquarters, I don't think that uh, Jeremy would be banned for life. I think maybe he gets a two-year two ban like Travis does at most. But because of that video, and there's no looking back. There's no going back. Um, even if they wanted to reinstall MTG headquarters, they can't. When the dude with more subscribers than you is comparing, is talking about the holo Holocaust, right? Like, wh what, how can... Tolarian has more subscribers than the main Magic the Gathering channel, and he's comparing Jeremy's actions, at least um, tangentially, to one of the worst, if not the worst, um, thing that happened in history. So, uh, 
it's a little extreme. So there's no going back. Jeremy, I think he has to understand he will be banned for life. And part of that, I think, is due to who wants him banned, which is Tolarian. It's one of those things when you make a video and it spews hate and then in the comment section, but don't don't hate this guy, guys. Treat him fair. Well, you just made a video telling people to hate the dude. You know, <laughs> like what are you talking about, right? It would be like me making a video about a competitor saying, I, you know, I hate this competitor and they cheat all the people. They don't log into Google Analytics in eight months uh, and all this bad stuff that they actually do. But then in the comment section, oh, please don't give them a bad review. Here's a link. To, here's a link to, you know, their Google business page. <laughs> like, it's super obvious, right? So what is Saffron doing? Could very well be immature kids being stupid, but still not a great look for a friendly local game store that Saffron has never gone to. I would argue that Saffron doesn't go to local game stores. He just plays online. So, um, What? Uh, and any the, the problem here is anyone can take a screenshot of anything and put it out of context. Uh, was this a joke by a customer? Was this a joke by the store owner? Um, is the store owner like it would be very easy to investigate these things, right? Like, oh, let's go on their Facebook reviews and see if uh, anyone mentioned uh, that they're discriminated, they're being discriminated based on race. Oh, it looks like a bunch of people have said that. Then you might have a good argument. Here is the uh, flag in question. I think there is a geisha underneath it. Uh, never mind. Probably just not just immature kids being stupid. A uh, store fire and dice. K E K. I don't know what this means. Like, I'm sure people in the comment section will let me know what it means. But my understanding after watching some of Jeremy's videos is this is just some type of meme. It's like a Pepe Frog type of meme. Um. Look, I'm not a white male, okay? I'm an Asian male, and I have experienced discrimination. Uh, when I grew up in elementary and preschool and middle school and high school, I grew up in a mostly white uh, school. My high school was 550 people. There were maybe three Asian people, maybe four, like if you count like the one international student who really didn't like being there, right? Um, and But we were, you know, we were discriminated against. I will point blank tell you this. Um, and I'm not going to go into too many details and too many stories, but my, my high school I went to was very adamant about sports. Now, none of these people made it to the professionals. None of these people even made it to the NCAA because they're not good. But it was very sport-driven. And if you didn't play sports, if you played sports, you got to pick on the kids who didn't play sports. And that's just what it was. And yeah, I mean, imagine like an Asian kid playing Magic the Gathering. Yeah, of course, it's going to be bullied in high school. It's just human. This was in, what was it? 19, 19, 2000s, early 2000s. I graduated in 2005 from high school. Yeah, from 2000. So 2001 to 2005. I know what discrimination feels like. I know when what it looks like, um, and often it's not what it's not a meme. It's not a Pepe frog. Uh, it's something where uh, people actually feel that way, uh, and it's not. A lot of times, it's actually the tone. It's not what has actually. It's not the meme or the phrase that's used. It's the tone. It's either very aggressive, it's very demeaning, it's very humiliating. Uh, someone can say something nice in a very nasty tone, and that can, in my opinion, can be racist. And then some people can say something that they just don't know better. When I moved to Texas, you know, people say some crazy stuff all the time, but if you needed help, you know, at least in Houston where I live, I live in one of the poorest places in America, people help you. Like, I don't have any problem helping you know, and maybe they say some bad things to me, but I know that it's because they don't have the education and or they don't have the experience with many. I'm probably, like, oh, I had to look at the data, but I would assume that it's less than 1% Asian people in the uh, city humble where I live. But that being said, people are really nice. Um, even if they're not, uh, they don't say the right things all the time, 
they're just nice, good people. And in the community that we currently have, I think it's the reverse. It's people are so focused on not saying the wrong things. They did never get to the intention when intention is uh, they could have, Emma could have talked to Travis and say, hey, Travis, do you know this was going on? Hey, can you stop it? Okay, I feel offended. Instead of tweeting it out, getting tons of likes, and now she's being promoted heavily by Magic the Gathering on what, Vintage Super League? Some type of Super League, right? But she's being promoted all the time now, uh, Emma, and she has a very interesting history in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not going to get into too much details about it, but she's not the most accepting people. She's not accepting of many people uh, i'll just put it out there and so some of these people who are so focused on making other people seem racist or sexist they are like just way out there like i i try to like understand where they're coming from i just don't get it um i, I just don't get it right saffron olive is a white male and you know it, I, I don't get it. Like, what is he saying here? Is he saying that um, this meme is too far? Is he saying that uh, this store is where you, you can see someone who's not a white male in the store? I get it. If people in the store are complaining all the time that, you know, hey, I'm African-American, I'm Asian, and I'm getting a higher price, or the store owner is making fun of me, or he's, you know, he's calling me like random really bad names uh, based on race. The customer would would leave a bad review. The customer would be like, all right, I'd had enough. Saffron is not the customer, right? He's never been to this store. He's never purchased anything from this store. So I don't get it. Like, are you so, are you so smitten on what someone says that you don't consider the intention at all? Because I would say that the intention is very critical. If someone complains to the store that, hey, this meme upsets me because of this, that's a discussion you can have. But if no one has ever complained and everyone's having a good time and no one really knows until someone random celebrity, e-celebrity online posts it on Reddit and now suddenly your store loses your WPN, It's so ridiculous to me, right? Like, all of these things can be solved by simple conversation, but because it's left versus right, liberal versus conservative, because it's Unsley versus Tolarian and the Manosaurus versus me, it even I'm I'm guilty of this as well. Where you know, I'll I'll be quite frank with you. My gosh, it's bad in our community right now. And we can't even speak to each other. Uh, and that's, that's the problem. Bye, guys.